Valentine's Day is upon us. It's coming soon to, <coughs> to a community near you. The thing about Valentine's Day is I personally feel it's like any other holiday. You can choose to participate or not. But Valentine's Day is unique in a few ways. One of which is your choice to participate or not impacts other people in ways that Christmas and Halloween, you know, if you choose not to participate in those, uh, people might think you're a little strange, but your decision not to participate in the year and holidays does not uh, have any direct impact on anyone else. But with Valentine's Day, if you are in a relationship uh, uh, that is romantic in any way, the um, other partner, uh, whether they, whether or not they want to do that, is gonna weigh on your decision to participate, whether you wanted to or not. And that is the biggest criticism I have about Valentine's Day. Because of the way it's set up, you have to consider whether or not other people want to participate in your decision of whether or not to participate. Um, the One of the best things about this pandemic is public displays of affection are at an all-time low. But I am on antidepressants now, so that won't bother me when the masks come down later this year for everyone, or most people, anyway. Uh, and one more, th you know, it's just one more thing! Uh, if you don't get that reference, you're not a 90s kid. Um, one more thing about Valentine's Day is, you know, it doesn't have any, it's not historical. It's a holiday that you usually don't get the day off, though it is on Sunday this year, and uh, you still have to plan for it. Some people plan up to a month in advance for it. Uh, some people may even start the planning right after Christmas, which it's right after Christmas. It's not even two months after Christmas. That's kind of crazy, and people used to see this as a one-sided thing that mostly favors women. Um, but now, you know, I see love as more of a mutual thing, a lot a mutual thing. It's not a transactional thing. And I go out in public and people berate and belittle the uh, fact that I go out alone in public in Minnesota in 2021. Uh, I moved to Minnesota in 2015, so I don't know if that attitude is a change in location or time. The word never from someone I've never met directed at me bothers me a lot, but there's not much I can really do to respond given it's far enough away that I can't address it. Uh, but, you know, the whole being single is going to be a separate video. That said, you know, seeing love as a mutual thing and not a transactional one uh, really is the only thing preventing me from you know, being outraged that people, complete strangers, don't like the fact that I am going out alone in public. I understand shop and go out of their homes, usually with a partner when they are my age or older, but there is no requirement to do that. And also, there's no requirement for you to even be in a relationship to participate in Valentine's Day. I mean a relationship, but not a romantic one. Valentine's Day can be something you do for your kids, in a platonic way, of course, and, uh, yeah, keep that platonic, guys. Yes, keep that platonic. I'm serious. Uh, and, you know, you can 
celebrate Valentine's Day with your friends or a group of friends because you platonically love each other. The English language doesn't really have a good word for that, but Spanish does, and I'm not going to look it up. I'm going to make you do that. You know, uh, liking someone and loving someone in Spanish without being romantic are two separate words. Whereas in English, it's just love. I love you, man, can be seen as a uh, gay phrase. But it, uh, uh, but that's because more that has a lot more to do with the English language than anything. Though I'm not really cool with homophobia either. Those are my thoughts on Valentine's Day. That is my Minnesota perspective on it. It's definitely not the Minnesota perspective on it. I would know. I go out alone and go shopping and would love to just mind my own business, uh, but there are plenty of people who look at me and don't want me to do that. I mean, if there's a need to talk to you, yeah, I'll talk to you, but otherwise when I go out in public by myself, I just want to mind my own business, like I did before. Um, 2016 in the Kansas City area. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.